Hey guys, it's your boy. We're back with more Marvel Future Fight content, and we have a big, humongous news for every Marvel Future Fight player playing this game right now. We are getting a tier four only, probably world boss or a game mode uh, in Marvel Future Fight with the next update very, very soon. It is possible they might do with the mid month patch, but I don't think so. So they might actually skip the mid month patch and do this uh, update while we actually do play that. Or they could just do the April update. Obviously, that is right before the anniversary. And they could introduce the World Boss Legend if they have a tier for only World Boss Legend, sort of like that, with that. Now, the whole details, I have not received myself this email yet. But if I actually I was in the some of the groups on WhatsApp and everything, Commander actually received this mail. I have not I checked my mail and everything. So Commander received this uh, mail and also he made a post on a Discord channel about this thing. We would like to share the latest news uh, of the Marvel Future Fight March update with our star creators who always create great videos. New powerful enemies for agents with many tier 4 heroes is set to arrive in Marvel Future Fight through the March update. Use the progressive missions and tier 4 upgrade support mission system to upgrade various tier 4 heroes and challenge uh, and challenge the new enemy on this tier 4 heroes proving ground feel free to share this information on on with your viewers so this was the whole email uh, this was a similar email actually that alice received and he also made a twitter post because of that i'm not sure why i have not got that so same exactly the same uh, mail that he also received so they say we will be having new powerful enemy for agents with many tier 4 heroes so if you have a lot of tier 4 characters you will be able to use i think if it's a world boss legend sort of game mode if it's a world boss mode you will need at least three tier 4s every single entry so a total of 15 uh, tier 4s are gonna be must have if they are gonna have the exact 5 entries that we have that we basically have for world boss or world boss legend right now in the game which is which kind of totally makes sense as well but if that's not maybe it can be changed but i think with many tier 4 they do mean you have to have 14 or 15 tier 4s to play this game mode five times a day if five is the entry count that is needed just like the world boss right now they also say use the progressive missions and tier 4 upgrade support system which is the discounted tier 4 that we are having uh, right now in the game with the gladiator and everything update that we got they are not just giving you free tier 4 they are not just giving you discounted tier 4s for nothing they want you to utilize that to get more tier 4s on your account to be able to play this new game mode which will be introduced with the march update or the it is a march update but yeah the upcoming update uh as as i should just say so yeah it's gonna be awesome honestly i feel that there is definitely much more potential to this thing one more thing which i kind of think why i have not received this mail a lot of star creators others also have not received so far so good right now uh only commander and alex are the only guys who have received this email so my theory is uh, also i talked to alex actually online and he said that he has not received the coupon giveaway mail yet but he did receive this email i myself have received the coupon giveaway mail but i have not received this mail so i feel there was a bit of a mix up they mistakenly sent this mail to commander and alex which was supposed to be the regular coupon mail that they send every single month and this mail is uh, was probably scheduled or something to be sent to all the star creators around the daytime indian standard time usually it's around the daytime 12 to 12 uh, 12 to 12 12 to 2 p.m around that time and they mistakenly sent it around midnight because they alex and commander they actually received it just about an hour ago this mail they never do that net marvel never sends these mails this late at the at this hour no matter what kind of mail that actually is so i think there has been a mix-up and they mistakenly sent uh this information that they were gonna release probably tomorrow or onwards or something like that now moving on to whatever actually happened it happened for good they were gonna send this email anyway so we are definitely feel free to share this information with our on our viewers so yeah uh, it's not it's not something leak or something they have sent it themselves 
anyways so what it actually means for your account and what you need to do to prepare for this thing so uh if you look at my account at the moment i have about 15 tier fours exactly <laughs> exactly 15 tier food which you actually need to compete in this game mode probably like like i'm saying 15 tier four because they said many heroes and the only way to really utilize all the tier fours will probably be a world boss game mode with exclusive tier four materials and more rewards for players who are using this game mode so they can keep playing new players can keep playing the beginner one uh the mediocre i would say the Players with like maybe multiple tier threes can definitely play World Boss Ultimate. The players with some amount of tier good tier threes, level 80s and tier four can play the World Boss Legend. And players who have definitely veteran players or I would say, uh, I don't know, mediocre players if they do have a bunch of uh, uh, tier fours, they can participate in this game mode to get extra rewards. They made it easier for mediocre players. They made it easier for new players as well. Because now, as you will see, we obviously have these five tier four discounts. The first tier four will be 40% discounted. Rest of them are going to be 25% discounted. I still have not used them because I did not feel any of them was a must have, at least for now. But some of the support characters might really be worth getting now. If Cyclops get a uniform, i might choose him or i feel that they are doing all this thing obviously making us use these discount discounted tier fours which is not a bad thing obviously you get a tier four for way less price than you what you usually pay but after they introduce this thing then probably with the next update which is going to be anniversary two months two months from now will be the first ever tier 4 selector giveaway that they will be doing with the login event or something like that just like they have been giving away the tier 3s and transcend potential selectors this time it's going to be the tier 4 selector and i don't think like it's it's a good thing but i don't think it's gonna be a humongous difference maker in terms of the meta value because i feel it's gonna be awesome obviously for new players other for others i think it's just gonna be collectibles extra tier force and blah 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 I feel the uh, the tier fours that will be in that selector if they do will be the first five to six tier fours or maybe seven tier fours that we got, uh, including Iron Man, probably Black Widow, Moon Knight, I think was there, Thor was there, Hulk, I think also was there. So probably the first five to six tier fours or maybe seven tier four if they want to increase the numbers will be in there. But all of those actually tier fours have been removed from the meta, including Moon Knight now. They just removed him with Gladiator. So it's kind of makes sense that they can now include him in the tier four selector with the anniversary. And that was the plan the whole time. Uh, Thor also has been basically removed from the meta totally by Odin and now basically with Gladiator again. So he's also totally out. Also, he's not the best striker anymore. He has been replaced by Ghost Rider in the ABX and ABL scenarios. So that also makes sense to give Thor away with the tier 4 selector to the players if they don't have him same goes for black widow she's still useful you can still use but you need a brilliant cdp of energy to even try to get closer to ghost rider striker value and uh that's honestly th that's the only thing that she has coming and for players who do not have ghost rider they can probably use black widow up to some extent but she also doesn't have any use after that she was the first ever speed tier 4 in the game and i guess it's time finally they can just give her away basically this is the older uniform maybe until they give her new uniform or something like that that could happen all the others uh tier fours someone like cyclops again still doesn't hold any value as a support you could say maybe you could be able to or you might be able to get help from the 40 percent energy attack passive but honestly cyclops's passive does barely nothing in certain game modes with very high defenses we have tried cyclops support in a lot of teams and without the cyclops support the characters still perform about the same it's not a big difference when they go up to the scores in abx abl as well as other game modes like world boss legend so unless they give him like a new uniform i don't think cyclops still is gonna be worth and i don't actually think that he will be in the tier 4 selector anyways so maybe you can i don't know you can just get cyclops from here 
or someone like that if you really need them i was really do uh, hoping or thinking to do captain marvel tier 4 because i don't have her and i'm probably skipping beta rebel as well as gladiator maybe on my account so maybe i can choose her but now with the announcement i think i'll just hold my materials and save for the next update and see what comes out if it's something that i really need i would definitely go and suggest uh, you guys some of the tier fours from this one and maybe it's time stop focusing on the pvp tier fours for now do not tier four any character right now wait for the next update and see what we receive with the new tier for only game mode because if that's the tier for only game mode i can only think of one thing that the world boss legend that we have right now will be upgraded to the tier for only world boss legend now what they're gonna name maybe they can just call it ultimate world boss legend or something like that i suppose uh, they could just do that and uh, that will be the main value as far as the materials are concerned we are getting 15 percent extra tier 4 material from the world boss legend drops we are getting about i think 20 percent or something extra material from gbr which definitely is is an indication they want you to get more so we're getting 20 percent more souls from this thing we are getting uh what 15 percent more life seed and carbonadium from this thing now this is something and what i feel that should be changed if they do introduce the world boss legend they should mix it up right now all the other uh, world bosses which is basically the ultimates you know world boss ultimates are totally useless except unless you are a new player that they, they are totally useless you need the tier 4 material so what i feel is they will mix it up and either these world bosses some of them okay like thanos they could make the thanos world boss legend only for tier fours they could either do that and what they can do is one by one or maybe like five of them like thanos and the black order i would say corvus glaive uh, proxima midnight block black dog they can make all of them uh world boss legends only for tier four they can call that call that maybe i don't know ultimate world boss legend something like that as i said and they can benefit the good thing is that you can still receive you will be able to receive the tier 4 materials on top of that you can also receive uh, and have a chance to get yourself free odin's blessings which was the main reason to play world boss legend a uh, world boss ultimate in the past and that is what the current world boss legend actually missing you still get those things from uh these uh conqueror rewards and everything like that but it's very you know it's it's very time taking it's like you only get like four of them or five of them per like i don't know it's it's just very random as well also it doesn't have the new ctp so i do believe that they can do this and they can basically re reignite and rework these uh, ultimate world bosses at least not five of them at least like thanos i think should be the first one or maybe scarlet watch one maybe apocalypse something like that and that will give us more value playing this world bosses once again it will be fun to go back to the roots as well as having more rewards uh tier fours plus this one second thought i have if they do this one is that they can still keep the current world boss legends or they can introduce this uh, uh, these things they can just introduce and increase the amount of carbonadium and everything that we are getting already so it's 15 percent they uh, the new world boss the tier for only world boss will give us maybe 20 to 25 percent more materials that i think uh, is the second choice or second thing that they can do to make it actually worthwhile because you really definitely want to play the extreme high-end game mode but if you do play that and if that is the latest game mode you would want to get as many materials as you can and uh, make it worth the time that you're spending and money on the game exactly so yeah i, I would definitely say something big is coming right before the anniversary uh it's gonna be big save this discount it can be very crucial very uh useful for you wait for the update wait to see what they do uh with the new tier for only game mode and as far as tier 4 is concerned if it's world wars uh i think you're gonna need at least 15 tier 4s to be able to get all the entries done 
I think if you have like, you know, less of them, say you only have like nine of them, you should be still be able to do like three runs on the new world boss and two runs probably on the old world boss. Still getting some materials, you will lose some, but it's still better than getting nothing. So definitely uh, do make sure to uh, give this video a like, do share the thoughts that you have about this whole scenario. The tier four only game modes are coming. I feel it's gonna be world boss legend. If they do something like, I don't know, bad, uh, I don't know, what was that? Danger room again with only tier fours, that will be crazy. But looking forward to whatever they have in mind and it kind of just keeps making things exciting and definitely looking forward to more information with the next update sneak peeks and patch notes later down the line. It's There's still time, but really hoping that that will be game changing, that will be something exciting, that will make the game more fun. Hopefully more tier 4 materials so we can get the tier 4s faster, easier and more because this year is going to be insane. Most of the tier 4s this year that we're going to get will be the native tier 2s or tier 3s along with sentries null and everything so it's gonna be insane save materials and yep try to enjoy the game let's see exciting definitely we'll see how it goes and as always if you do enjoy the content i hope to see you again take care i'll see you all in the next one Bye bye